Hi there, so today I'm doing another sharpening video and in this one I'm going to be sharpening card scrapers. So in the future I plan on doing a video on why card scrapers are good, what you need them for and all that great stuff. But for now I want to show you how to sharpen them. Sharpening them is actually not all that difficult although it requires a technique that is it requires some practice so you're gonna to have to do this a couple of times and you're probably gonna mess it up on the first few goes but it's pretty simple so let's just go through it together before we start there's a few things you're gonna need obviously you're gonna need a card scraper they do they come in various sizes and whatnot and these the, the sizes and shapes and forms are pretty much uh, based on what you are gonna be using it on like that would be for for some sort of a molding this one here is a, it's probably this one's probably the best one for like a beginner because it's got the two flat sides which you're going to use most of the time but it's also got some curves here which you can use. Today I'm going to be sharpening this one which is just a just a rectangle. And these can also be made out of old bandsaw blades. So if you have someone that works near a sawmill or something like that, you can ask for their blades and you can make a ton of these. And the second thing you're going to need is an oil stone. Now I have an oil stone which you saw in my chisel sharpening video, so you're just going to need an oil stone. And the third thing you're going to need is something blunt but very hard, like for example a screwdriver. This is more than adequate to do what we're going to do today, but there are specialised tools available kind of like this one here for sharpening card scrapers. So if you have one of them, great stuff. So what I'll do now is I'll move the camera around, set it up so that you can see what I'm doing on the oil stone. Okay, so this is my oil stone and I've got some different card scrapers here. Like I said before, I'm going to be sharpening this one here today just for pure simplicity. But the technique is the same for all of these, although you're going to have to... So that one's obviously going to be a bit more difficult to sharpen than this one. That's why we're starting with this. So I'll just put them to one side for now. And what we're aiming to do on the oil stone is polish the edge and get it a perfect 90 degree uh, form around these corners here. And as I said on my chisel sharpening video, it's very important that the stone is flat because we're going to be running this along this edge here, like that. And obviously if your stone's got a hollow in the middle, you're going to end up just sharpening, or just, in this case we are polishing, so you're going to end up just polishing the two tips here. So what I'm going to do is i put some oil on it and we'll just get straight into it. Now I'm not applying very much force here, I'm literally just rubbing it over the stone. And what I'm doing is I'm doing this face, this face, this face. And then I'm going through it all the time like that. And again, like I said with the chisels, you've got to make sure you use the whole stone. Okay, so I'm actually quite happy with that now. You got to use your fingers when doing this. You can you cannot feel any burrs along that edge there, and the actual edge itself, this edge here, looks nice and polished. So we can put the oil stone away now and move on to the next stage. Okay, so this next part is going to be the part that you're going to need to practice. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to use my special tool for this, but you're going to rub the edge like that in that direction, and that's going to create a burr, but the burr is going to be on this downward lip here. And then you're going to rub the same edge along that way, and that is going to move that burr up onto this edge so that you're going to be able to feel a sharp burr along there. And that burr is what's going to do the cutting. My advice is one pass of each. So you only do two passes. You're going to do one pass like that, one pass like that. The first pass is going to want to have quite a lot of pressure, as much as you can put on it pretty much. This second pass isn't going to need as much pressure because you've already created the burr, you're just moving it. And one thing to note as well is you can sharpen both sides. So you can sharpen this side and you can sharpen this side. First pass. And that's the second pass. And now I can feel 
a burr on there. It's so microscopic, you can't see it on the camera. But like I say, this is gonna be something you have to practice. The more you do it, the better you're gonna get. So one way to be sure that you are sharpening your scrapers in the right way is to look at the shavings that you make. If you're making shavings like this, then you're going in the right direction. If you're making dust, like what we can kind of see underneath here, you are not really sharp enough. You're aiming for nice, clean shavings here and as least amount of dust as you can get. Let's just do a few trial cuts here. There we go. Four cuts and four nice, clean shavings. Okay, so there we have it. That's the basic technique for sharpening card scrapers. The steps are really simple. What you are aiming to do is first of all, polish the edge and get it as perfectly 90 degrees as you can so that there are nice sharp edges. And then you are aiming to run something along, something hard along this edge. You can buy a burnisher off the internet if you need to, but a screwdriver will do the job. Although screwdrivers are sometimes, depends what you've got. This screwdriver is hard enough but some screwdrivers are quite soft. If you want to do it properly, go and get a burnisher off the internet. I have this tool here, which is hard enough. It's got a point on the end, it's for marking out holes, but I know it's hard enough for sharpening my card scrapers. The part you're gonna to have to practice is going to be the rubbing of the edge. So you're gonna to have to really practice that. My advice would be, like I said in the video, just do one pass, one pass, and get that perfect. And once you get the feel for it, what you need to do, then you can start to experiment with doing two passes and then you'll end up with a bigger burr and it will cut better. But that is just an example of what I've done here. Just do one pass, one pass, and it should cut and create shavings like I did here. Quite often you will find that the first time sharpening it, you, will, you, you won't be sharp, you will just be rubbing along the edge and you'll be making dust. Don't worry about it, polish, it, polish the edge again, and try, just try again, just keep going until you eventually get that shaving. Card scrapers are one of the probably the most underrated tools and they're not used very often because they're not that easy to sharpen. Another thing I should note as well is that your edge might in some cases not be perfectly flat. If that's the case, then you can use a file to make it flat. Okay, so I hope this video has helped you out and I wish you all the best in sharpening your card scrapers. It's not easy, but you can do it. Let me know how you get on in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week.